Well, people north of us in Premont looking forward to some relief. FEMA adding Jim Wells County to the list, list of those affected by June's heavy rains. Channel 5's Christian Von Pricing explains. Premont's about an hour north of Edinburgh. We were here the day the flooding happened, right before it happened in the valley. And people affected by this flooding are looking forward to that FEMA declaration. The flooding in Premont was a glimpse of what would happen in the Rio Grande Valley. June 19th, just hours after a flood here, the heavy rain started closer to home. Five weeks later, there's still water in the low point in town. This was once a grass field. And now we got lily pads and a lot of frogs and a lot of mosquitoes. Residents and businesses experienced damage during the storm. So he's eating and drinking good? Gene Wilkinson, the city's only veterinarian. Everybody has, has pitched in. His office had some of the worst flooding in the city. He showed us what happened on the third week of June. The floors were ruined. The walls were soaked. The office wasn't able to be used. Back then, he told us he planned to keep business going, even if it meant going to his customers to see their animals. People started showing up and they say, well, you know, we, we want you to work on our animal. And I said, well, things are messy. And they said, we know we're here to help. And this is the way we're going to help. We're going to bring you business. Now his vet staff are on the clock, also working to complete the repairs. He didn't only get support from the community. An inspector from the Small Business Administration came to visit. It's part of the new declaration by FEMA. They looked at the inside of the building because that's, they asked me, you know, did insurance cover it? Did you have flood insurance? And no, we didn't have flood insurance. FEMA says residents in Jim Wells County are now eligible for the same benefits programs as people in Cameron and Hidalgo counties. Damages that were not covered by insurance may be covered. They have to apply, get a home inspection, then FEMA calculates what it's able to cover. The city's mayor. Once the water starts rising, yeah, I mean, it's just like we have no control over. He says he got in touch with the Jim Wells County judge. They put out a call to people to report damages in order to petition for a declaration. To, to go to City Hall to give that information as far as names and numbers and contacts and kind of like a preliminary uh, to get an assessment as to how many people were actually affected. Now FEMA and its partner agencies are getting set up. It seems like a lot of times these smaller communities are left out and, and we weren't. We weren't included. Dr. Wilkinson says his business could really use the help. So what's happening next here, FEMA will be going door to door and they're also working on setting up a center like the ones that we already have in the valley. They're now just looking for a space to accommodate it all. In Fremont, Christian Mount Pricing, Channel 5 News at 6.